Hello there guys, uh, Tom here today. Today I thought I'd do a very quick video on a little tool for CC Cleaner. Now this is called CC Enhancer. and It's a little standalone application that um, enhances CC Cleaner, making it able to um, clean up more data from different programs. So if I go into CC Cleaner and go to Applications, you'll see that this is as far as it goes with the applications um, just as a clean install. Now, if I just quickly exit out of that and then click uh, ccenhancer.exe. Oh, come on. Right, okay. So, here it is CC Enhancer. And what it does really is, I would just never mind these, you just hit this button. But what happens is, is you, you, you click that button and it adds a .ini file, so a, uh, a configuration uh, file, into into the CC Cleaner folder. And all that happens is, is it simply points out extra places where it can be cleaned. So there's not there's not really anything that we need to do here. See, there's not really much that we need to do. So all you have to do is simply click Download Latest. Oh, dear me. Uh, after that is done, if you want to run it, uh, click yes or click no. I'm going to click no, uh, yes. And then go to applications and you'll notice that we actually now have a bunch of different things. Now, there's some things that I, I sort of look at and I'm sort of afraid to check. But, however though, um, Really, it, I think it should be. It should really be um, safe to ch check all these if you want, really, um, to be honest. But it'll make your system a hell of a lot cleaner because there's more stuff that's going to be cleaning up, as you can see. Now, there's nothing to worry about because it's not uh, like forever altered what Perform does. If you want to get rid of it, all you have to do is go to program location and you'll see it right here win at 2.any if you open it you can actually see uh, how it sort of like you know um, enhances it and you can just simply uh, hang on I'm just going to check if it's has it done anything no uh, yeah sorry um, all you have to do is simply make sure it's not running right click delete Delete to the cycle bin, get rid of it from there, and then as soon as you open it up again, go to applications and there, uh, you'll see that it's restored to its own little se its own self, and the you know it's just completely restored, so there's nothing to worry about. So thanks for watching this video. Um, oh, uh, a little update by the way. Uh, you know when I'm doing like virus removal programs, um, virus removal videos rather. Um, uh, I don't know why this has happened, but for some reason YouTube seems to uh, have made it so that I can make videos longer than 15 minutes. So uh, um, I suppose that means that I won't be able to have uh, I won't have to um, break up uh, the videos. So yay! So I thought I'd just tell you about that. So again, thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.